Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. In this video, we will show you how to create a creative patient entry form using a Google Sheet and AppSkip. Traditional creating a patient entry form can be a time consuming process. However, with the help of Google Sheet and AppSkip, you can easily create a form that is a more appealing. So grab your Google Sheet and let's get started on creating a creative patient entry form with the app skip in this video from Excel Dose. So as you can see, I have created this patient entry form. So how that work is, first we have to enter here the date. So date could be today's date or maybe uh, any other date. So for this particular example, I will mention today's date and then we have to mention here the full patient name so i will mention here the patient name as excel dose and then the gender is male and then we have to enter here the phone number which is like one two three four five six seven eight nine zero right and then date of admission in the hospital so i will mention april 2 as a hospital admission day and date of discharge that is a fifth april and then here i have to mention the diagnose diagnosis like test three and the full summary is test three or test four I will mention and then simply click on the submit the moment I click on the submit you will see in this particular backend sheet the data has been updated you can see I am getting the new entry which you might be wondering that how I have created this patient entry details form for that what you have to do is first you have to create a new google sheet and then you have to mention all these header like a date name gender phone number or you can customize as per your requirement also then you have to simply click on extension then click on app skip the moment you click on app skip you will get this particular window in that you have to create a three different file first file is code.gs and then you have to mention this complete code in that code.gs file once that is done, then you have to create a new HTML file. Simply click on this plus symbol and then click on HTML and name that file as index.html. And then you have to copy this complete code and paste in index.html. And similarly, you have to create another HTML file with the name of javascript.html. And you have to simply copy this code and paste in javascript.html. Once that is done, simply click on save the project. I have mentioned all these codes in a video description you are not to worry about and you have to simply click on those link and you will get the complete code in those links actually. Once that is done, simply click on deploy and then click on new de deployment. The moment you click on new deployment, then you, you will see here the gear icon button, right? Simply click on this one and select web app and then you can simply click on deploy. The moment you click on deploy, you will get a new link simply click on that link and you will get this patient entry details form i hope you will like this video please like comment and subscribe to excel dose thank you so much for watching